Hi, I'm Steve Newman and welcome to Intection. Today we're going to be talking about Quick Creds, which is a, a script which enables you to, to snag credentials from Windows computers. Now, the information I'm going to show you today is just purely for educational purposes only and is, is not something where you I would uh, condone you using for any illegal purposes. So this is for just educational purposes only. So without further ado, let's uh, move on and show you what you need. OK, so to enable you to um, do this, first thing you need is a bash bunny. So you, please look at my previous videos if you'd like to see more information about the Bash Bunny. And what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to install the um, the software on this that, uh, required to enable you to capture these credentials. And the way this works uh, when the software is on here is it pretends to be a network device uh, and then it effectively will capture any network traffic that is uh, um, transferring across this it makes it the highest priority network on your the windows machine so therefore windows automatically even if the computer is locked will send its network traffic across into this device so let's show you how this works okay so the first thing to do is to switch the uh, switch the bash bunny into arming mode which is all the way forward here on this switch and switch it all the way back is is basically the payload position there's one and to and forward is arming. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to plug this into our Windows machine and then we can configure this ready for use. So we just plug it in now and it's set into arming mode. And what will happen is this quad core machine will boot up and then eventually it will present itself as storage, as USB storage, and also present itself as an SSH, uh, sorry, a, a serial port. Uh, and what you can do is you can you can connect basically uh, via a serial port onto this device on the Linux side of the device, the host computer, if you like, that's running in here. So, okay, so that's now booted up and you can tell that, it, that it's all safe because it's running, uh, flashing a steady blue flash, okay. So what we need to do now is if I jump onto my com Windows computer and then we can have a look and we can show you what it, how and explain how this works. So first of all, things to note are that um, here's the Bash Bunny, which now shows up at the bottom here. So let's just see that. And as you can see on the Bash Bunny's directory structure, you have your payloads. And you have your tools now the tools directory is quite interesting so this tools directory which appears within the software side mirrors the unix side or the linux side rather so if you place anything into here um, the device on boot up will look in this directory and especially look for any script files or uh, debian packages and it will copy them across into the um, linux tools directory so i'll show you that now so let's double click and what we're going to do is we're double clicking on putty which you can download from putty and our and if you want to know how to connect please see my previous videos so we're now connected to the bunny uh, and we'll just log in as root and the password is always the same hack five bunny Okay, so now we're logged in as the Bash Bunny. So if we now do a quick uh, ls, at the root of this of the root of this system, um, there is a a subdirectory called um, Tools, just the same as the other one. So if we now go to uh, go to the root, I'll show you what I mean, and we do a quick directory structure, you, a directory listing rather. You can see that we have a Tools directory there. So, and this is effectively where the, the tools are installed. So if we now go into there, um, and if we have a look, I'll do an LS, you can see I've already got two uh, sets of tools already installed. And I thought I'd show you, uh, you may not have those, but if you did, how to reinstall those tools. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to remove them. So first of all, you just do a simple RM minus R, and I'm gonna go for in packet. Uh, and we we'll remove in packet, which we need. And then we're gonna do a, an RM minus R and responder, and that will get rid of get rid of responder so now if we have a look we've got no nothing in the tools directory 
Okay, so that's let's exit out of there. So now what I'm going to do is now copy the files we want to install into the Bash Bunny. So I'm now on the Bash Bunny in Windows, and you can see I'm uh, if I if I double click on that, so you can see I'm now in the Tools directory. So we go into there, and now what we're going to do is I've already downloaded the uh, various files, which I'll leave a link um, in the show notes. So here's one of them that we want to install. This is a Debian package, let's respond the version. And then there's an in packet version, uh, uh, sorry, in packet, which is a Debian version. So I'll show you where to get these from. Okay, so now we've done that, that's now copied onto the Bash Bunny. What we need to do now is just simply eject the Bash Bunny safely. So we do that. So it now says it's safe to remove. So um, let's, let's just quickly go back. So it's safe to remove. We can just unplug it, as simple as that. So the next thing to do um, is to now basically just plug it back in. So if we now do that. Now, we haven't changed any switch positions and what will happen now is the bunny will boot as before, but this time when it boots up, it will notice that there is a files in the tools directory and you'll get a red light while it's doing something, which is what it's doing now. And eventually it will flash the blue. So what it's doing now is copying the files across into the Linux directory, the Linux tools directory. So when it's finished, it will flash blue, which it has done now. So if I now show you, um, what happens next so if we now go back to the windows pc so uh if i now show you and go back into the, the tools directory on the windows pc you will note there's nothing there anymore that's because it's copied them across so so what we're going to do now is double check by connecting back in using putty into the um bash bunny so we'll log back in again this is via a serial port and um, doesn't matter how many times I type this, I always forget it. So we're now back into the Bash Bunny. Let's go to the root. Let's go to tools. And I typed it wrong. Right, let's just check where we are. That's better. Okay, so and now we'll have a look. And you can see we've got responder and in packet. So if we now go into in packet, we change directory into in packet and have a look. And you can see we've got in packet is installed. Now it's it's worth noticing that there is a setup script in here that we need to run. Uh, and if I now go and run that, so the way you do that is Python setup.py and then install. Okay, and now that's um, installing all of the, uh, basically what it does is copy the Python scripts across and then change change the uh, writes. And then on top of that, it then copies the, the latest egg across. So now we've, we've completed the process there. Uh, and you can run it more than once. As you can see, I just deleted directories before, so it's no problem. So if we now go back up a level, uh, and we're now gonna go into Responder. Now, if you have a look in here, uh, in Responder, there are no special, there's no setup for Python. There's just some basic Python files. So we don't have to do anything at all. So this Bash Bunny, as far as the Linux side is concerned, uh, whoops, it is ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close that session down, putty session. Okay, so the next thing to do is just to go ahead and uh, copy the payload into the right directory. So what we're going to do first, we're going to go into the loot directory and I'll, I'll, I'm going to look in here. There's nothing in the loot directory for you. We're now going to go into the payloads directory and we're going to go to library. And then if I go to uh, credentials and then if we then go down to quick creds, if you go into it, you just need to copy the payload file we right click and we copy the payload file. I've already done this a number of times. And then if you then go back to um, the library, back up a level, bash bunny, 
uh, and then if we go to there oops I can't double click there we go and going to switch one well, we've already got the payload payloads already like you just paste it into there so I won't paste it again because I've already got it in there but it's the same file okay so now all we need to do is just eject the bash bunny because uh, it's all set up to go and you can go and plug this in multiple safe to remove hardware multiple computers and what I'm going to do so we pull this one out so we reject it so I'm just going to restart the computer to log in as a different user let's hopefully the Windows computer will behave so I'm just doing this now um, so uh, just restarting okay so while that's re while that's restarting so uh, I'm just waiting for the Windows computer to restart and then we'll log back in as a different user and um, I'm only picking a restart just to make sure everything's cleaned and flushed so now what we need to do is sw switch the correct package uh, the payload on so in this case like we copied those files into um, payload directory one so we need to switch that all the way back so so if you're looking at it, you've got the LED here. It's the switch needs to be all the way back towards the back. That's switch position one. OK, so let's just see if that's rebooted yet. So let's have a look. So we have rebooted. Let's see if we can now log in. Um, and this time I'm going to log in as John Smith. Now, I've had a few problems with this Windows machine. It keeps crashing, but uh, ah, that's hopefully not today. Okay, so we seem to be okay. So what I'm gonna do now is we, we remember we've already, so if we pretend now we've wandered up to any machine. Now, um, we now plug this in. And now we get the green light to show it's powered. And then what will happen, so I'll just and we show it's powered and then what will happen is it's now running its attack so now um, you'll get the orange sorry I, I'm not very good with the colors but eventually it will flash green and that's while it's actually capturing information and eventually it will go solid green so we're just waiting for it to go solid green so what I'm going to do is go onto the machine and I'm just going to open up a browser just so it's uh, has. Let's go on and open up a browser. And then what we do is we just open up Edge or something. Um, there we go, we'll open up Edge. And you can see, um, just to show you, there's no um, internet connection. And that's because all the traffic is being routed to the Bash Bunny. So if I'm just having a quick look. So if we go back to the Bash Bunny now, you can see the Bash Bunny has actually gone green, which means it's, it's happy. It's captured some credentials. So there's nothing really left for it to do now. This is now in a, in, it doesn't show up as a, a net, as a network device. If we go, sorry, as a storage device, if we go back to the Windows machine, a Windows machine and if I go back in whoops you can see it doesn't appear anywhere but all network traffic was being routed through this so what we're going to do now is we can just pull this out and just to prove that um, it's doing it is doing that capturing network um, let's go back to the as you can see we can't go to anything so if I now I'm now going to switch over and I'm going to pull this out Okay, so that's now disconnected. And if I now go back uh, and we now just do a quick refresh, you'll see we'll now have internet connectivity again because the, the, the information isn't being pushed. The network isn't being pushed through the Bash Bunny. So, so what we're gonna do now is switch this back into army mode. So that's just by switching that across there. Uh, and then I'm gonna plug it back in again. Uh, and this is the last part of this. So what we're gonna do now is this will mount the local uh, disk here as a storage device and it will enable us to uh, get at the loot, so to speak, all the information that we've captured. So we just wait for that to show up and it's flashing. Okay, so let's just go back to our uh, Windows machine. 
Okay, so now the Bash Bunny appears as a storage device. And if we now go into loot, we under Quick Reds, which was our package, we now have the name of the, the PC, which was called Garage PC, which wasn't there before. And then if we now go into that with any luck, uh, we have various files. So I can show you the kind of things you get. So it depends what it will find. All right, okay, so nothing in that one. Okay, uh, the config responder, probably nothing in that one. Oh no, there is stuff. So there you go, so it gives you all sorts of information. So this is, okay. Okay, that's the config responder log. Cool. Poison sessions log, so obviously this is where it's pretending to be uh, an internet. Uh, uh, it's basically capturing all internet requests. So if, I, if a user was browsing somewhere and sending their, um, uh, sending their credentials off, obviously this would uh, respond to them, okay? Uh, you've got the responder session log, which I'll just show you before I show you the last one, okay? And in the responder session log right at the very bottom, it says me who is having difficulty, right? Is also at the bottom here we have actually uh, we do have their uh, credentials, but more importantly, where I tend to get them from is in here, in this auth. Now, uh, so the, this is the credentials. Uh, this hash is the credentials hash, and this is what um, this is what we can use to decrypt. So uh, I'm, I will show you that in part two. But there you go. You can see we've captured NTLM version two um, um, session hashes. So right. So it's now count cancel all that so um, again thank you for watching so uh, if you do enjoy this and you want to see how to decrypt these packets please watch my next video uh, and that will show you how to take um, the information and then run it through a decryption software and then it will give you the plain text passwords so please, please have a look at our, uh, please watch my next session. If you like these videos, please subscribe. Uh, other than that though, thank you very much for watching, watching and uh, hopefully.